Hello everybody, welcome back to the same stream on this wonderful Thursday evening. I'm Theo Nomes and Hoi today I'm joined by Aiden Pars Voldemers. And today we have an exciting matchup for you guys today. We have the Saints GC team playing in the Aurora series, taking on Mizu Esports. They are three and zero. Their opponents today are gonna be two and one. Should be a highly anticipated matchup. It should be for sure. It is definitely gonna be a but a really good match, I would say, for our Saints. And yeah, it's going to be amazing to, to watch them. Yeah, absolutely. They had an amazing uh, series last week, winning 13-3 to and 13-4 to in two maps and looking very strong. They love playing the double duelist setup, going for these high action uh, type of team comps and looking to make very strong pushes. I think that's something they need to do uh, again today against a very strong team. That's for sure. Just like to point out, this is my first very Valent stream, so we're just going to see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to be fun. And speaking of fun, I think we are going to be very close to getting into the game. So maybe we can take a look at the bands here. Last week, uh, they did play a couple of maps. They played Ascent and Haven last week. So it's interesting, I think, this week to see if they try to stick to those same maps or if they switch things up. I know for sure. I believe the first map will be Ascent. Is that correct? Uh, I'm not too sure. I haven't, haven't heard yet. I mean, uh, it would be good for the Saints, I feel like, if they did play the same map because they had so much uh, dominance. As now, we're going to see the picks and bands. University of Missouri band now. Sunset, St. Clair decides to get rid of band, uh, bind. And yes, Ascent will be the first map. It's picked by Missouri. St. Clair is followed, followed up with Haven. Then University of Missouri banned out Abyss. Saints banned out Icebox. And Lotus will be the deciding map today if needed. What do you think uh, of uh, this map choice for both of these teams? To be honest, I think they are pretty good. I think Ascent, uh, especially with um, St. Clair, they are have like a really big, strong, uh, what's it called? St yeah, basically a, a very, very strong team towards that map, that's, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. With their double duelist setup, they have done a, a great job of just pushing sites very quickly and not letting teams have any room to breathe. I think if they can follow that kind of a recipe for today, that's definitely going to be their key to success. And, you know, we did speak to a couple of players last week and they sounded very, very confident, but going up against such a strong team like Mizzou, I mean, it definitely won't be easy and they're going to be up for a challenge today but what kind of team comps do you think we'll see coming out from the Saints like what do you think the meta is what do you think their read on the meta is what do you think are some key agents that might just lock in now I'm not no obviously I've played a few times with Valor and I'm not that entirely sure of the meta but I do know that like from our our previous matches from other of our other St. Clair teams as well it's mainly just like um man what's his what's that user's name or the agent name. You know the robot? The controller. KO. KO, exactly. I know he's a very top pick against that, against other, the other team. I know Jet is my personal favorite, to be honest. I think we'll see a Jet today. Uh, with the duelist. And, uh, but yeah. I'm trying to think of any other duelist. Like, what? I don't, I wasn't here last week, so what kind of duelist that our St. Clair team used last week? They played Jet, as you said, one of the top picks, and they oh, also yeah. liked, uh, they liked Reyna, surprisingly, which isn't of really, course, of course. Really, it's not really a big power pick in the competitive scene, but I think they just are feeling so, so confident taking those duels. Reyna is definitely one of those agents that can really cause havoc on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the field. She definitely can, especially with that, uh, with the, with her flash or the eye, of course, uh, going around corners, blocking that goes through objects, of course. So that is, she is a really good pick and personally one of my top two operators to use. Jet would be my obviously top favorite, but uh, yeah, we'll see how they, how they, uh, how they, what, are, what agents they are going to be using for this match. Yeah, and on this uh, map, I think we might see a Sova, which is a Usually seen on this map, holding down B site with relative ease. Oh, yeah. Just single-handedly can use the Odin to spray through that wall. And I think Killjoy is another one that both teams are going to pick up. So it's going to be interesting. I think Sova, Killjoy are going to be staples in this first map. But the other three could go anyway. I agree with that. Especially with especially with uh, Killjoy. Uh, she is very, very, like, defense-like based. Yeah. She's, she's great for that. Especially on, I believe, it's point B. Not like near the supermarket, I believe it is. Yeah, she's great for that. I've seen so many like lineups for that and defense techniques for that. And as of right now, we are seeing our players. This is our team as the moment. 
Yeah, I mean, they looked very, very good last weekend. Uh, always had good energy every time we saw them on the, on the camera, always smiling and having a good time. That's very, very important in, a, in any atmosphere. So having a good atmosphere seems like our players have that and they are backing it up with very, very dominant gameplay. Yeah, that's that's the best for sure. And they do look like they are locked in and hopefully we will, we will be getting into this game soon enough. Yeah, hopefully we are able to get into the game soon. But as we wait, we're going to throw it to a very, very short break and we'll be back with game one right after this. Never mind, we don't have a break. I thought we had a, we might have a break, but... Well... Welcome back, everybody. We are getting close to uh, game time. We're going to be getting into draft in uh, just a second. So we spoke about some uh, champion picks, some champion bands. Let's take some predictions before this game starts. What do you think the scoreline is going to be for today? Honestly, I think for banning, uh, I think Killjoy would be smart only because she's so she su succeeds so much in this map. That is like I feel like that would be the top pick. Pop, sorry, top pick. Yeah, I mean, that is definitely a good option there. I think uh, we might see something like Cypher, because I think both teams would like to play the Killjoy. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of one of those toss-ups. Maybe one team isn't as confident as the other. I think Cypher might be something that gets banned out. Pretty strong pick on defense. Probably not something either of the teams want to deal with. Yeah. And maybe... I don't know, like a, a smoke, like a omen or a brimstone. But, you know, I'm expecting relatively meta picks for this option, uh, for this map. As I said, Saints will probably look to do the doublest, double duelist setup as they oh, have yeah. time and time again. But it's going to be interesting. As you said, KO on this map has a lot of agency. So I definitely would not be surprised if we see that. Or maybe if they would ban him. I'm not maybe. entirely sure. I mean, interesting. I'm not too sure. I mean, it's a strong pick. Uh, it's not like game changing. Like game it is game. Cha it is, it game, is game changing. changing yes, it's game but changing, but not game breaking. It's something you can play around. But yeah. if you have the stronger KO with all the utility you could ever want for, I mean, it w it's just everything you'd really want on this map. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and hopefully soon enough we will be getting into game and seeing those bands. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, for the score predictions, did I get your prediction? Was, sorry, score predictions. Yeah, score predictions. Let's get score predictions for the, the matchup. Oh, okay. Um, well, seeing how St. Clair is 3-0 and I believe it's... Mizzou uh, are 2-1. 2-1. It is definitely going to be a 
difficult game. I believe our Saints will win it, though, because they do look locked in, and I have confidence in our team. So I have confidence in our team. But for scoring, I believe it would be probably would be really close, maybe 13-9, and nine maybe, mm -hmm. St. Clair. Okay. It, I, I honestly feel like it's going to be a close one, but overall our Saints are going to win. No, that's my predictions. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you there, Saints. Looked so good last week. I don't think they're showing any signs of slowing down. Um, I think Mizu might be able to take a map off them in this series. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but I think our Saints will pull through in the end and take the victory 2-1 to one today. Yeah, I agree with that for sure. And, um, you know, the game will be starting up soon. There's a lot of things the Saints did good last week. They, but one thing they really did well was play in the clutch. When things came down to one-on-two, one-on-three scenarios, that's when they pulled off these kind of clutches where it just shouldn't happen. I think it really demoralized the team. But against a team like Mizzou, I think that's going to be a lot harder to do. Um, I think they definitely have to not get into those situations. What do you think is something they can maybe avoid to not have those big clutch 1v2, 1v3 scenarios that puts all the pressure on you? No, I know I'm not familiar with like the Valor and tactics and everything, but I feel like staying together, more grouping up, yeah, we'll probably be that. Well, if they are on defense, of course there will be that splitting up. But if mm -hmm. you have, I believe there's five people on each team, correct? Yes. Two, two B, two A. Of course, if there is three points, then that is kind of tricky to to maintain. But obviously, one person going in mid. That way, they kind of have control of if they if the attackers do go either B, uh, B or A, they can kind of help out. It would be three, you know, against that team. So, but yeah, we will see what uh, Saint Clair has to do. Yeah, I mean. It's not going to be easy for them as we are getting into the game. Saints going to be on the defense first. Mizu are going to be on the attack of our roster for today. Ibuprofen, Kuro, Sumaya, Api, and Chris. And for the other side, Anakin, Sober, Sushi, you, whatever, Circles, and Tiptomi as we are right about to get into round one. It does look like we do have that Killjoy, the Sova, and the KO as well. Yeah, and the Sova Dart will come out to start of the round. Nice shot by Maya. Picks up the first kill of the round. Nice shot by Oppie as well. Second pick of the round. Saints starting off hot on the pistol rounds. They can see everyone through that Sova. And another shot by Oppie. Beautiful on this Sheriff. Now Saints have a five on two advantage. KO sitting in the back. Does get spot out. A couple of shots missed, but the trade comes through from Karosu. 4v1 for the Saints as they start off this first round hot. That was definitely a strong starter for the round. That was amazing, to be honest. And Tipimi will uh, find a one and now stuck in this 1v3 situation all the way in spawn, having the spike. Going to look to rotate maybe over to A, but Saints have not moved from the middle of the map. They know that if they just use their numbers, watch enough sight lines. There's only so much this Omen can do. Has a few abilities left, has a TP, has a couple smokes. Right it's going to be a lot of work to get done here. As he might go for a swing mid. Yes, there it's going to be. But nice shots from oh. Tip for me, honestly. Finds Maya. And now Saints 2v1 have to focus up here. Wouldn't want to throw away this round. Only 50 HP left, left on Tip of me. And here is Chris. Will get smoked out. The flash, though, is beautiful. Will get it. Splashes himself, themselves, though, as Chris oh, wow. finds the one on one. A bit dangerous there. Not dodging out of the flash, but a good round for the Saints. That is for sure. St. Clair starting off strong, and that was definitely an interesting round. I love how St. Clair immediately took control over the middle of the map. That does gain some advantage because you are controlling a majority of the map. So honestly good for them on that side. And looks like for the buys right now, one with a Vandal, one with Spectre, and a Stinger, and a Guardian as well for St. Clair. And it does look like University of Misery is kind of keeping up, or sorry, just kind of not buying anything, kind of keeping their economy low. Or sorry, uh, yeah, low, so not spending. Try to get into that, once you get into that higher round, you do need that money, right? Absolutely, and, you know, buying a couple uh, heavily artillery here for the Saints Oppie with those beautiful shots with the Sheriff. Gonna have a Vandal looking to put in a damage. The Saints take the first round now. The second round, nice flash comes out there. Oppie finds one. Can't find the second just yet, but yet again, an opening pick for the Saints. Keonade will come out. Won't do any damage there. Ult Orb is picked up by the Saints. When they have these weapons, they want to get these Ult Orbs as soon as possible. As now, looks like a mid push. And it's going to be coming in from the side of Mizu. Saints don't have any flanks going. They're just sitting back waiting for something to happen here. As now it looks like 
Those who don't really have an idea on what to do, they get revealed by that Sova Dart. All stacked on top of one another. Looks like they're gonna make a push towards a tree here. Now, let's see how they decide to push this one with only pistols. Kurosu is sitting here with a Sheriff. Cannot find anything there, but does stay alive, which gives Saints all the information they need. They're gonna back up here as a couple members gonna be sitting heaven. KO on the flank. Chris can do so much damage here. Swings at the right time. There is one. Reload comes through. Is able to stay alive. The shots come through again. No kills just yet, but on this flank, it will be anything else. Yes, Maya and Chris find a couple more it's a clean flawless round for the saints as they play the defense perfectly that was beautiful it seems like missouri was kind of confused on what they were doing they were kind of stuck in that middle area that was honestly fantastic for saint Clair. that defense was amazing and we're on to the next as you could take a look now we're gonna see some more uh, purchases what do you think mizu need to do differently to maybe put some pressure on the saints as they have struggled to get more than a kill around i feel like universe like the misery is not that aggressive i feel like there are some points where you need to be aggressive you need to get in there i do feel like they're kind of playing more on the defensive while being attackers which i get you do need to get in point you need to take it slow a little bit and get in there but it does reach a point to where you do need to go in there a little bit aggressive and get in there. Yeah, and we're, they're going to be getting in quickly. Killjoy will get a shot there, but the trades come through. Mezu find a three as they get the plant down, and now the spike is down. Saints going to be in a 2v4 scenario now, looking to find the clutch here. RP is going to go high here with this Vandal, has to find some big shots here. It's only the Sova left on the point. Everybody else is off the point now. I'll be looking for the swing. Doesn't see any players. There are no players to see the flank coming through from Krosu, who only has a sheriff. Will go down. Now it's a 1v4 scenario. I think Oppie is going to opt out to save this Vandal as the round goes over to Missouri. Yeah, that definitely was a quick and uh, quick environment. And just like I predicted, they had to be going more on the aggressive side. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, they did go on the aggressive side there and they find the round relatively easy, but that was expected. They did have all the weaponry they could ever want. Now Saints will be affording a full buy. Let's take a look at what they can afford. That's for sure. But now with Missouri winning that round, of course, they are going to be, I think, majority. Look at that. Yes, they did do a full buy. Both teams having them enough just to do a full buy, so it should be interesting. I believe last round that they did play, uh, Misery did have full buy as yeah. well. I believe so, yes. Although I just did realize one of them did change to a bulldog. Oh, no, no they did. yeah, they did. Yeah. Okay. But it should be interesting with now St. Clair winning two and Misery with one round. Yeah, it's gonna be a push coming on to be nice wall bangs here from Op. He's playing very, very aggressive. Spots out the omen, finds the headshot. One more body shot, kills the soul. Beautiful. Huge flank from Op. Opens up the round for the Saints as now they have the flank. They have the spike down in the enemy spawn, and the swings come through. Op finds a third, almost finding a fourth there. Is the headshot gonna come through? Nice fourth, fourth for Op, and that's an ace. Beautiful shot wow. there from Op. Takes down all five members and puts the team on the back. That was amazing to watch. Dang. St. Clair definitely is kind of celebrating on that round for sure. That was fantastic to watch, to be honest. Of course, they were a lot more aggressive and getting into their spawn. But of course, that was amazing to watch. And now we're going into the fourth round. Does look like Misery is saving sheriffs and full shields as well. So that should be cool. And the round will begin. A couple buys here, a Spectre and a Bulldog for the side of Mizu. The Saints having the full buys definitely have a big advantage going into this round. They do for and sure. Oppy, you know, playing so aggressively as Oppy usually does, finds the ace and is probably going to be on top of the frag scoreboard as Oppy usually is. As now the swing's going to come through. Oppie gets the drone. It's going to get out of danger, however, as Mizu haven't really made up too much room here, but they don't really have the weaponry to do so. You can see Saints are just sitting back, waiting for a mistake. Mizu now going to be forced to make some sort of push. Looks like they're going to be going up mid again. They've tried this before, and it didn't work out too well. This time, they'll want a different result. St. Clair is spread out, though, that's for sure. They definitely have one. Uh, Omen's kind of in the mid, but it does look like Missouri is going towards B. 
Yes, that is for sure. They were kind of stuck in that middle there, trying to decide where should we go, where should what should we do. But it looks like, it from looks like we have Abby looking down that that uh, lane there, kind of sitting there. They are getting flashed. Combat has started. Kurwa gets double. Oh, a triple! Gets a fourth. Oh, oh my ace. God! And an ace back to back. I mean, Saints are just putting on a show for us today. RP gets an ace, and then Kurosu with the ace. Amazing performance so far, and they are looking to just blow Mizu out of the waters. Look at that. Two rounds in a row, aces from St. Clair. That is amazing work right there. And that was that, honestly fantastic. Absolutely. That makes the game so much easier when you have a couple players who are fragging like this to start off the map. And Miz were definitely asking themselves, guys, what are we supposed to do? A couple of their members just aced us back to back. I mean, it looks like they're going to go for a split push. Okay, well, going to get popped immediately. You can see the aggressive players here. Maya and Chris take this double swing. They get the double kill. And they're going to have a big advantage in this round. Killjoy forced to back up a little bit. It has all the utility left on A is the rest of Mizu gonna try and just rush in here, get this plant down as soon as possible, but it looks like Ibuprofen is in a beautiful spot, can find the shots maybe through the smoke, doesn't find anything, that's a beautiful kill joint aid, it's gonna do a lot of damage to that sofa, Ibuprofen gonna shoot down that wall, they almost find the entry pick, the trade comes through from Chris, can we see another ace? No, Kurosu and Opie will find the last two Saints, take a 5-1 lead. Wow. Crazy how a situation, sorry, situation like that can change. Was Missouri capture, or sorry, planting that bomb, securing that area? They did. I feel like they did have enough time to at least set up some sort of defense, at least try to get themselves into placement. But Saint Clair, obviously, being Saint Clair, went in there aggressive and secured that win for the round. Amazing work for them. Absolutely, and now they look to keep the ball rolling. I think it's another kind of weird buy here for Mizzy. You could see a couple of their members want to force up as they can afford to do so, but the other three won't be able to afford the same luxury. If they do go for this full buy and they don't win it, they will be absolutely broke and won't be able to afford anything next round. But it looks like they will be going for the big play. Here they are, one of the pre pre premier teams in this league. They are 2-1, and one, so nothing to look down down upon but the Saints just having an amazing performance so far that's for sure and if from what it looks like it looks like they are towards mid again unsure of what they're gonna do they are kind of leaning towards the B site and it does look like they will yes they will St. Clair kind of spread out majority of their team on A site We'll see how it goes. They do have that killjoy from St. Clair sorry Abiprofen kind of in that lane again watching that door Missouri kind of unsure of what they're doing, kind of going towards mid again. Yeah, they're going to look to rush in. Oppie found the opening pick, but Maya will get shared out. Knives pulled out by Anakin, who's only on 45 HP. A bit of a risky play here, but I think Mizu know they need to win this round. And there's another pick onto Oppie Profen. Great start to the round. The Sickles finds a couple. And now it looks like Mizu have finally gotten back on track. 2v4 for the Saints here. Oppie going very, very aggressively. And it's going to be a 1v4 as Chris falls down. Going to be nearly impossible to pull this one off. That smoke going to burn a lot of time. Let's see if Oppie decides to push through that one. That's a very risky play as there's at least two members looking at that one. Waits out the Sova dart smartly, but I don't know. I think waiting a little bit too long, knowing that in the 1v4, you need enemies to make mistakes. And it doesn't look like Mizu are going to be making any mistakes. They need every single round, and they're going to do everything possible. Oppie, though, going to look for the exit frags. Finds a one, finds almost a second almost. there onto Jet, but does get taken down. A nice round from Mizu on a round they needed to, to win. And now they look to get themselves back into the map. Yeah, that was honestly a really good round for Missouri. Kind of just taking it slowly, went towards mid, sorry, came up mid, and ended up going to the B side. Very, very, I mean, I'm not, I haven't seen that before. Kind of taking it slowly, and then all of a sudden acting aggressive. St. Clair did kind of go through that really quickly. But we'll see how this round goes, and it does look like majority of the team is on B, with the spike near A, or toward, yeah, a little bit near A. And everything, sorry, and everybody's on full buy, I believe, as well. Yeah, they are, and it's going to be a bit of a default push here from uh, Mizu from the look of things. They're leaving the spike way, way behind, so I don't think they're going to be too quick to make any moves, and RP wow. shut down any any thoughts of any quick moves. Sickles, here from last round for Mizu, gets taken down first, and now Mizu definitely have to go for a different plan. That's for sure. I wonder if that is a strategy, trying to... 
make as much noise there at B, and then once St. Clair has been lured into going into that B site, them switching. Because it does look like Omen is going to pick up that bomb and make his way towards A, if I believe so. Yes, yeah, they are kind of making their way towards A. But St. Clair is already there. It looks like two of them are already on that tree location. Goes around the corner, getting to pick him up, leering him, trying to cause him to shoot. Oh, they don't know what they're the corner, here. gets one, gets two. That's amazing. Can he get the third one? Of course, they'll TP. They are unsure where he is now. Both of them in mid. They are kind of in a predicament spot right now. There's a lot of players mid. Tiffany and oh Silver my Sushi God. turning this round around for the side of Mizu, but still, it is a 2v2 situation. Saints getting uh, way too aggressive there for no reason. They had the round one, but now they give themselves a chance at this round, Mizu. But there is a flank by Oppie. I don't think they have any idea that a jet could be sitting behind here. The plant will look to go down. Oppie finds Gets the headshot. One. Gonna go for the swing. Oh. Beautiful one tap there onto Sober Sushi. Oppie showing off the moves. This skills as Saints take their seventh round of the half. That was beautiful. I kind of like, I was honestly expecting Missouri to win that round with the change of uh, pace right there. That was amazing. Now just as in to see what they were going to do this round as well. It does look like everyone, oh, St. Clair is going to do a full buy. I wonder if Missouri is saving. It does, yeah, from the looks of it, it does look like they are going to be saving with two of them with the sheriffs, but, but with full shields. Yeah, they can't afford anything after that beautiful round from the Saints. It's going to be a 6-2 lead. My apologies, I thought it was 7. But after this round, I think that might be the case. Anyway, the Saints have a full buy. They are kind of stacked up towards that B site. And only one Killjoy is trying to stop all of Mizzou from getting this plant down. It's going to be very hard. The turret does go down. Let's see if this Killjoy can find any picks off of this swing. Gonna come through any second now. Obi Propan though knows. Just have to wait for the teammates here to come back you up. The plant is going down. Sova Ult oh. does stop that one. Chris finds one. Uh, Obi Propan finds the second. The Saints are full on rolling here. Spike is down in the middle of the site as the rest of Mizu are on the outskirts. Just hoping someone from the Saints makes a mistake. It's gonna be Oppie just playing full aggressive. Finds a couple. One more on tree here. The classic won't find the shots there, and the rest of the Saints gonna swing through. Chris picks up that kill. Another flawless round for the Saints. Amazing round from Saints. Honestly, that was amazing. Missouri taking over that point was crazy at the beginning, but St. Clair regaining it, taking control, being that, sorry, being aggressive is key to winning these rounds, that's for sure. And from the looks of it, it does look like we are doing a full buy with St. Clair getting out the, I believe that's the Odin. Am I correct on that? Yeah. Yes, I am. We was interesting to see how he's going to work with that weapon. Yeah, I mean, this was oh, what I was talking about before the game. Sova on this wall with the Odin, with the dart, can definitely find one scan and just blast through somebody. You can see everybody from Mizzou is ready for it. Let's see if the Odin can find any shots there. No, won't be able to find anything. Trying to just spray yeah. through there. But nobody from Mizzou going to peek down yet. But in the meantime, Kurosu and Oppi going to go for this swing again. Oppi going to oh. go down this time. Kurosu won't find the trade. We'll try TP. and TP out. We'll get out there just in time the smoke comes through and it doesn't look like Mizu will be in it just yet Killjoy gonna come out as Kurosu falls and it's a good start to the round for Mizu it looks like Maya forced off of the position there that's a nice nade from Chris gonna do a good amount of damage on the rotators the KO is on one HP Chris finds one finds a second on the KO can he find third Maya finds the wall bank Chris finds Fourth. one as well it's Maya with the triple kill on the Odin Saints two Verse 5 basically on that site just annihilated the side of Mizzou as they are completely running them over. Beautiful work. St. Clair just playing tremendous defense. Honestly, that is amazing work right there. Oh, wow. St. Clair is stacked on money. I'm just going to say that right now. Missouri kind of just sticking up with those sheriffs and light armor. One with heavy, but we'll, sorry, one with full, but we'll see how that works. Yeah, uh, one, thing, one thing I did say was that the Saints put themselves in a lot of clutch scenarios. This this half, it hasn't seemed like so. They've had a couple flawless rounds. Losing oh, yeah. One member, two member, and they've just been able to save up that money. I think that's definitely crucial to why their lead is so big. That's for sure. Winning two, sorry, two rounds back to back flawless is amazing. As they are starting in combat right now, teams' errors kind of spread out. With Sober, super, sorry, I believe that's super, Sober Sushi picking off him. As they are making their way towards B from the looks of it. Oh, 
couple shots come out from the side of Mizum wow. and Saints. Drop like flies. The plant's going to come down. And this is the scenarios I was talking about. Ibuprofen 1v4. Going to be very hard to find this clutch. Last time Oppie was in this scenario, decided to look for the exit kills to ruin the economy of Mizu. I don't think that would be the worst play here uh, that the Saints can make as well. If you can find that kill, or Omen, they won't be able to afford a full buy next round. You can see the Omen is all the way across the other side of the map. I think knowing that information and gonna just look to play their life as the swing's gonna come through, finds the KO. Can one more pick come through on the kill oh. No, four kills, four sober sushi that round. Gray round from them gives Mizu some hope at an 8 4 half. Last round in the half. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, St. Clair kind of that round went really, really quick to be honest. St. Clair kind of getting eliminated really fast. And it does look like everybody is getting a full buy, that's for sure. St. Clair is still stacked on money, that's crazy. But from the looks of it, it does look like Missouri is going to go towards the A point. St. Clair kind of spread out, two on B, two mid, and one on A. Killjoy kind of stacking up the defense on A for by themselves, which honestly, it, it is a good strategy. Let's see if they can stick with it. You can see how aggressively they went on that oh, flank yeah. into the spawn. Oppie won't find anything there. Now the KO is going to get popped. Mizu going to be in this side. I think they spot out Ibuprofen, but Chris finds a crucial trade onto Tibami. Still, this KO is getting so much value, denying those jet knives as well from coming out. Plant does go through Saints now on a timer to get back into this round. Oppie going to look for a swing. Doesn't find anything there. The flash comes out. The smokes come out. Saints now going to look to push back and take their side. Chris wow. and Chris Rosu Watch that finding flank. three. Only Maya falls down as Chris finds third of the round. It's going to be Saints taking the first half nine to three. That was beautiful. Obviously, with that flank, I think that kind of change was a, a huge game changer. Or sorry, round changer right there. Amazing work from the Omen. That's fantastic. Yeah, definitely going to be a big reason for why the Saints are going to be taking that round. But now we are switching sides. What would you like to see different from University of Missouri, maybe, to put themselves back into this map? Now, I feel like for them, defense is the most important key. Or the, yeah, it's the most important key. I wonder if they're going to be like St. Clair and try to control the middle a little bit. Because I noticed St. Clair did that during their uh, defense rounds as well. Or I wonder from the looks of it, 2B, 3A, so they're not really controlling that middle area. I wonder how that's going to turn out, but it does look like St. Clair is going towards that, sorry, that A uh, point right there. Yeah. And we're off with the round. Round's going to start off hot. Oppie just flying in there, playing with gets full one. confidence. Gets one. The flash is beautiful Two. from the KO. Finds a second. Gets all the way into the site. There is someone sitting tree. Saints need to be careful for that. Chris does get tagged up. But now that gives Saints any knowledge of a player. Their plan's going to go down. Saints have a 5v3 post plan scenario. And on pissed around, it's going to be hard for the side of Mizu to find things. The Silver Drone's going to come out. Nice shots there from Oppie, knowing exactly where Sickles was. Looking for another ace in this match. On this jet, gonna swing through. Finds the fourth. Tip of me though, does find the trade. But now it's gonna be impossible to win this round as Maya picks up that kill. Another pistol win for the Saints as they look to keep the ball rolling. That was a beautiful round right there. St. Clair definitely on that aggression. Oh, sorry, aggressive side right there. That was honestly amazing to see. I kind of like that's what I feel like that was Missouri was kind of lacking was that aggressiveness to get on, get on, on point, plant that bomb, and immediately set up good, good defense. But from the looks of it, they looks like they are going to be going towards A again. Maybe perhaps doing the same strategy or they're maybe going to play slowly. I guess we'll have to see. It's going to be a force buy though from the side of Mizu. So Saints can't go too quickly here. We'll be running into a Bucky and some other weaponry from the look of things. They find the Suppress on the Jet who's just sitting here with a Bucky. If the Jet can get one kill, Jet will be very happy with that outcome. They are going to pre-fire this Jet, is going to wide swing. The Soba Drone does spot out the Jet, however, it's now the Saints. I think they know the Jet has a Bucky. They're going to back up and maybe look for a different play. That's for sure. Yep, does look like they are slow walking to B point. And I feel like Missouri is kind of unsure if they're still, still on that point. Omen kind of staying there, maybe trying to just create some noise, distract them a little bit. But it does look like Missouri is kind of aware like that. Omen kind of on that tree, tree location, holding down that angle. Oh, oh just gets shut down by RP. 
nice shot there by RP is now Saints are gonna be back on this A side. Let's see if the chat can find anything. Finds a couple there, but just doesn't have the weaponry to take anyone <laughs> down. Saints gonna take three quick picks, gets the plant down again. Looks like another show round for the Saints. That is for sure. It is kind of a 5v2, so they are kind of in that tree area. He's kind of getting, he's cornered right there. He unfortunately cannot do anything. St. Clair does have their defenses up. Oh, does get down. It is now a, sorry, a 4v2. Kind of having some trouble kind of knocking them down, but we'll see what they can do. Oh, he does knock down that Sova. We do only have that Killjoy kind of left. I wonder, is he going to stay? No, he does get dead. Yeah, that's going to be another easy, easy round for the Saints as that was a force buy from their opponents. And now they're going to be in a very good financial financial situation. They're going to have the full buys available. Mizu, I don't think they're going to be able to afford a much here. You could see a thousand credits, two thousand credits is their most. It's going to be a full save round for Mizu as the Saints are just looking to completely wipe them off the board. They don't care that Mizu is two and one. They are showing why they are the best team in this league. That is for sure, and it does look like they are going to be going towards A again. I wonder if they're going to be doing the exact same thing as last round, having that one person distract and then kind of going around the corner to tree location. But it looks like Missouri is kind of all over the place, towards middle, towards uh, B, and they are, looks like you got two of them, the Jet and the K, uh, sorry, K.O. What's the user's name again? K.O. K.O., yes. Going in that tree point. They're trying to regain control of that location on, on A. Not really succeeding. Does get knocked out. And it can pick enough. One, two now. It's going to be all on RP and Hell here, but RP falls down. It's going to be a 1v4, a 1v3 scenario on the save round. Let's see the Guardian. Oh, oh won't find it, but the nade does. Nice shot from Ibuprofen, but doesn't find the third. out. was a very, very hard shot to hit onto the opponent there. A nice try there from the Saints. A round that they definitely should have won. They give away, but hopefully that doesn't slow them down. That's for sure. They're already are, they already are winning more rounds than Missouri, but I feel like they have that confidence. Yes, they did win one, but look at that, 11-4. and four. St. Clair obviously still winning this, still feeling confident. Missouri, they got to change up their game plan because they do want to catch that. They do want to catch up and do win this. But from the looks of it, it looks like everyone is doing a full buy. And St. Clair obviously going towards that A point again with Missouri kind of controlling both sites, but no one towards middle. But we'll see how this goes. I feel like St. Clair should switch it up, at least go towards B site. Kind of switch it up because it is kind of being repetitive. But we'll see what happens and they end up pulling up the knives. And now they're gonna look for the entry. They're waiting for something and that something is the Sova Utility. Spot out a couple players with the drone and they know this jet's around this corner. They do find a one for one trade though. Nice shots there from Anakin, but Ibuprofen takes down easy what whatever. As now the Saints gonna get the plant down. Knives are out for RP. Maya gets it down. Looking to get out of danger there. And I think the Saints have another good post plant scenario as Mizu ha don't have too much time to work with here. Can Oppy find any more shots with this Vandal? The swing will come through from the drone. Won't find anything. Oppy's gonna play the life here. Nice play by our Jet. Now looks for the shot. Doesn't oh. find it though. Sober Sushi picks down up. Takes a lot of help for him. Maya though on the flip side picks up. Tip of me. Karos and Navy Profing gonna find the last two kills of the round. Saints put themselves on map point amazing defense from st Clair. honestly aggressive getting in there planning that site just take a control from away from missouri is amazing and just like i predicted it does look like they are going to switch to b missouri still maybe probably thinking that they're probably going towards a again but we'll see how that goes and it is 12-4 with one more round st Clair does win this match so we'll see what happens are they going to rush in play it slow they do have, looks like Missouri does have that Sova dart to kind of get in there, gain some information. Let's see what happens. Start of this final round. 
Yeah, Saints have loved playing the aggressive game so far. They have no idea. There's a killjoy around this corner. It's going to be a 2 for 2 trade at the end of the day. But there's one more swing coming out. It's going to be the Sova, who's on 5 HP. But Saints losing some health force. That Jet just going to run across with oh no weapon. Karosu finds a couple. Anakin finds one back. It's a 1v1. Maya against Anakin. And Maya's on 1 HP. One knife will be the end of this round. Wow. It's going to be Mizzo on the save round. Winning it out. Saints around. They definitely should have won. They're going to drop. And that's a couple in a row now. But it doesn't really matter because of their lead. But against these top teams, these are mistakes you don't want to be making. Yeah, that is for sure. That round definitely, I feel like maybe St. Clair was a little bit too confident on that round. That's for sure. Went in there too quickly. It was trades back and forth. And we'll see what St. Clair has to do with this round. Maybe they'll play it a lot more slower. This round, last round, they kind of were taking that more aggressive route, but we'll see. We'll see. St. Clair, it does look like they are kind of backed up on uh, money. Or sorry, gun buy at the moment too. So we'll see what happens. This will be an interesting round. Yeah, they decide to save here because they just have so many rounds to work with. Oh, oh. though, so much for saving. He's gonna get in there with the Bucky, finds the opening frag, and has a gun to their name as now. Saints are looking to get this plant down onto B. I don't think Mizzou are ready for that kind of approach here. As Oppie finds a second, is going to fall down here to the Sova. Karosu finds the trade. And now it's a four. It's a 3v2 for the Saints as As can find a pick on to Karosu there. The Killjoy, though, ultimate's going to be massive. Going to buy so much time for the it Saints is. here now. Is now Mizzou have about 20 seconds to get in there, kill everybody. Oh, the detail oh. is going to come through onto Anakin, which makes this a 3v1 for the larger part of this round. And it can fall down. It's all up to Sickles. And with the clock ticking down, looking nearly impossible at this point, will go for the shots with the Bulldog. Doesn't find it. Tries to kill the Killjoy. Gonna get shot from all angles. Ibuprofen finds the map winning kill. A Saint dominates on game one. Wow, honestly, that was an amazing game. Game one was fantastic. St. Clair, obviously happy. Smiles all around, confidence. I bet you anything is now higher than ever. Honestly, amazing work from, from both teams, to be honest. With St. Clair pulling off that back-to-back uh, -back ace was amazing. Honestly, I was not expecting that. Yeah, I think that play in particular definitely broke the hearts of the enemies and started the confidence run for them and it was a very very good game from them so definitely a good start for the saints what was for the sure, thing yeah. you liked most about that game one wow um saint Clair definitely had that aggression especially when they're on the attacking side it was phenomenal missouri kind of had they were okay with defense. They was kind of they were more spread out. Saint Clair kind of took over that mid. That way, if they if Missouri had to switch over to uh, to the next point, they already knew what they were doing. They had that middle controlled, and they just it was on point. Honestly, it was amazing. But we never know. Next game, match two is a different map. Maybe different agents. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that was honestly an that was an amazing first game. Absolutely, and you know, Saints have half the work done, but still have a lot of work to do against a very, very strong team. So hopefully they're ready, they're locked in. We're going to throw it to a very, very short break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be back with Game 2 in just a second.
Welcome back, everybody. Saints just had a dominant game one performance, taking it 13 to 5. And now on the second map, they're going to look to do more of the same. It's going to be Haven. We saw this map from them last week. It was a very, very strong performance as well. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. I think after that strong of a first map, I think this is going to be a clean sweep 2 0. Uh, but anything can happen. Their opponents, Mizu, are 2 and 1. So they are uh, used to winning as well. I don't think they're going to go down without a fight. That's for sure. St. Clair is 3-0, and though. I got to make that out. Uh, St. Clair also being on the defense as well. I feel like that is their strongest strongest position as well, starting on defense, or defense at least. But, uh, yeah, it is going to be interesting to see how this second match is going to work out. And, uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. And I believe they are going to be going into game real soon. But overall, just got to get your... Uh, what you think. How do you think this uh, the score is going to turn out for this match? I think it's going to be, hopefully, uh, similar to what happened on a map one. I think the Saints are going to have a couple big plays early on, for like sure, they yeah. had on the first map, and it's just going to blow the game wide open. Their economy in that first half was insane. They had a full buy basically whenever they wanted. I think uh, if they can do the same on this defense, really suff suffocate Mizzou, it's going to be a good start to a victory. Yeah, that's for sure. And I wonder what type of agents they're also going to be going with as well. Obviously, different map, different play styles for different characters. So I wonder if they will kind of stick with that Killjoy, because I know she's really good for defense. But I may maybe they're, I don't usually see a KO on the map Haven. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm interested to seeing how the, how, uh, what agents both teams are going to be picking out for them. Yeah, and uh, Saints, they I think they did play a double... double Dualist comp, as it looks like that's exactly what they're going to be picking here. You could see the Reyna and the Jet will be picked up for the side of the Saints. And it's going to be followed by a Sova, KO, and a Cypher. And on the flip side, Mizu, they're going to have the Omen, Sova, Breach, Killjoy, and Jet. That's going to be two interesting compositions. And, you know, Reyna going to be picked up. It's a very, very strong pick if you're going to be fragging out. So hopefully our Saints do frag out majorly here. What do you think of the drafts? Honestly, St. Clair is picked with that Cypher and, uh, with, sorry, Cypher and Sova. They did kind of um, prepare themselves for that good defense, that's for sure. But uh, I honestly, I'm, I'm interested to see how that works. I know earlier we did talk about having that Jet and Reyna for the double duelist, which I think will actually work really, really good, especially on uh, this map Haven, because I believe it's a lot more close quarters, especially with Reyna's uh, Seer, I believe it's called the Seer ability, the, the, the eye, the, mm -hmm. the flash, yeah. Uh, definitely with it being a lot cornered map and more like smaller, you could definitely put that out there and kind of do pick off those or get those picks. But we'll definitely see what happens. I'm interested to see how this is going to work. Yeah, and Saints have the double duelist set up on the defense first. So yeah. if they can have a like even okay defensive half and even have a, like a 6-6, six, 7-5, six, something that's close. Mm -hmm. On the attack, they will definitely have the upper hand having the double duelist set up. And the way they play, the aggressive play style they have, if, with a double duelist set up, it just makes it so hard on the defensive team. I mean, a bit of success there for Mizzou on the first map with a couple save rounds, actually, they won, yeah. which they shouldn't necessarily win. But I think other than that, Saints just looked very, very dominant. And if... If Saints can stop those kind of thrifty rounds from coming through, it could be a complete dominant game. Yeah, that's for sure. And Missouri is being, I wonder if they are going to be more aggressive, especially on this second match. Because at the first match, I believe they were kind of slow. They weren't, they really weren't that, you know, aggressiveness. So I wonder if they're going to be doing the same, especially on Haven, because these close quarters, they will take it slowly. But we'll, we will, we'll see. We'll see how this works out. But, uh, but yeah. It is also a three-sided map, which is... It is, I uh, forgot, yeah. Not like normal, so I think way more attack favored, just based yeah. off straight numbers. You have more options to attack at, and defenders have to place maybe an extra defender where they don't want to, but let's see how Saints decide to start things on the defense in round one. For sure, this is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be a, uh, a definitely an, in an interesting match, that's for sure. Obviously, just like you said, three points. And it does look like Misery is going to go towards the middle. Although that is a common area going through middle and then go taking over for C. But we'll see what happens. Both teams slowly kind of making their way out. Aubrey Party does take off one of that... that uh, 
Killjoy is going to get taken out, and now Anakin finds the trade onto AB Profen and the plant. Might be coming down very quickly here from Mizu. That jet goes for the swing. I think Chris is in a beautiful position on this Reyna. Doesn't oh. find the shots though. A bit of panic there. Still will be alive. Krosu finding a couple. Oppie finding the third. It's going to be all on to you wherever. Does get taken out by Chris. Another pistol round win for the Saints. And now they put themselves on track to pick where they left off. And look at them. Calm. Yeah, I feel like their confidence is going to be a lot higher because they did win that first match. Obviously, St. Clair taking over that point when they did get that plant in. But we'll see how that how the rest of this match goes because just like I said, or just like you said earlier, sorry, uh, they do have those three areas. And I wonder if they're going to keep going towards either C or B. We'll see how that goes. It does look like they're kind of maybe go towards, I honestly personally think they should probably go towards A. That's that's what I think. I because think you might a, be right. a is not that like I don't I find that it's not that to be like very popular for it on the attacking side. It's usually either C or B. But we'll see how it goes. Saint Clair does setting up three agents on A for that defense. Missouri kind of spread out towards that middle, looking to take control. With that omen is watching that 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 middle lane, which is perfect for defense to be honest. Although three of the almost the entire team is there. So we'll see how this goes. St. Clair making their way towards the middle, sorry, B location. Missouri kind of playing it slow. Both teams are playing it slow. Oh, and he does, Chris does big pick off with the Guardian, using that Silver Dart to gain information. And just like I said, Laura, oh, sorry, with the Reyna, nice. Maya finds a shot onto Tipami there, as now the Saints are coming from all angles. Oppie on the flank, finds one look, everyone else turns Through around. Chris finds a wall bang to the head on you wherever, and it is just one jet left with no health left. Maya gives Saints a flawless round, and I think these flawless rounds on these save rounds, when the Saints have the advantage, the fact that they're not losing any members has just proven so, so vital. Now they have these weapons they bought for last round, this round, and they're going to be so, so strong going up against the full buy of Mizzou looking for the bonus. That is for sure. And economy is pretty high as well. It does look like both teams are going to be doing a full buy. However, it does look like one member on the course, sorry, Korosu, uh, the Omen, is sticking with just the, the full shields and the Sheriff, but the other, while the Sova is doing the Spectre. So I wonder if they are trying to save money as well just to get into that higher rounds. And it does look like that. And does look like Missouri is using that Breach Fund. Oh. What a shot from Oppy though, up mid, picks up Sober Sushi, and it Mizu has not gotten up far on this A site. Omen is watching the flank, but I don't know if Chris was spotted out there. Chris oh. whips every shot though on Sickles, but the trade comes through from Kurosu, and these shots from Tipami that needed to hit are going to miss. It's going to be Saints in a 4v3 as Mizu have struggled to make up any room, but Oppie does get taken out by Anakin. Let's see if Kurosu can spot out this Omen. Yes, does find a beautiful shot there, and now Maya finds one, finds Double. a second with the Spectre. Saints get the bonus and go up through zero. Look at that, finishing that round with a double. And he ended up picking up, or sorry, with the Spectre as well. And he ended up picking up that, that uh, I believe, what's the uh, rifle called again? Vandal. Vandal, exactly. Picking up that Vandal. Kind of saving up that money as, as well. St. Clair just going off. Honestly, making sure they have that aggression in, even though being on the defense as well. Missouri is looking, sorry, Misery, it does look like they are going to be going towards the C location. St. Clair kind of focused more towards on B and A, but we'll see how that changes throughout the rest of this round. And we're starting off with the fourth round. Starting off with that Sova recon. So far, not seeing anybody. Looks like they are going to slowly make their way towards C. St. Clair looks like they are noticing that they are making that way. Sorry, making their way. The jet getting in there does get shut down by Aprofome. Look at that, that was beautiful. They are kind of stuck in there. <sighs> That Sova dart looking to find something as all four members from Mizzou are stuck in this choke. All the shots here from RP finally will find one onto Sober Sushi. You can see the rest of Mizzou trying to back up and they are able to do so, but backwards is not the way you want to go when you're on the attack. They are on a save round, so any kill realistically is good for them, but winning this round is going to be very, very hard. Now the flanks are coming through. Chris holding this sight line, waiting for someone to walk into it. There's the Sova, oh, finds one. one. Does get traded out though, you or ever. Does find a nice shot, does 
he would ever look to pick up that Vandal. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. One shot from Kurosu. The trade again comes out from Tiffany. But now Oppy is going to try and deny anyone for picking up that Vandal. And the rest of the team is here. Ibuprofen going to find that shot onto Tiffany. Saints, flawless so, round, so far, are up 4-0. to zero. That was a flawless round. St. Clair definitely taking control of that point pretty well. They end up did trapping them in that corner, that's for sure. Honestly, that was I felt like that was really good for St. Clair playing up on that, that on that defense. Even though defending they did were they were pretty much aggressive, which is good to be honest. I feel like Missouri had if as soon as they put down that smoke, I feel like they should have made their way towards either I think A would have been good. The relocating, them kind of just sticking in that alley is terrible. But we'll see how this goes. I wonder if they're going to change. Of course, St. Clair more focused on middle and A. Although getting alerted and going towards C again. Is it going to be the same way that they played last time? We'll see. Jet getting in there. Hiding from the guy. He gets into a good he gets into a good area right now. That's perfect. Although, oh, he does pick him off. Anakin does. It's so a course of getting a double. But then gets shut down by Skillies. Chris getting a one as well. Silva getting another one. It now turns into a three versus one. Can he get him? And he does. Chris wow. the trade. A nice round there from the Saints. Mizu definitely with a bit of a stronger push there. Got onto the side and caused a threat there. But Kurosu with that flank found a couple early. And then Chris whipping out the Reina ultimate. Finds one, gets out of trouble. The nice flanks come through. Saints take the lead 5-0. to zero. That was an interesting round. I was going to say that right now. And it does look like Missouri is going to be saving the Sheriffs in low armor. St. Clair full by. Well, that's kind of expected to be honest with your winning five rounds in a row. Yeah. And I believe, yeah, that was that was really, really good, to be honest. Uh, looks like Missouri is going to go towards that A point. Oh, sorry, B, B and A, that's for sure. St. Clair more stacked Ooh. up on, oh, wow. I think Oppie, though, will find the trade here. Yes, oh. nice shot from Oppie, finds one. Doesn't find the second, but the oh, weaker the, weapons allows Oppie to live. Finds the third, now going to be looking for this ace, and Oppie going to be full head esteem. Is somehow still alive, whips out the, out the knives, and gets oh. another ace. Oppie going absolutely off in this series. Second ace in two maps, and Oppie just having a blast on the jet. That is amazing. This is why I main jet. One of the reasons why I do. Personally, my favorite duelist. But that was amazing, to be honest. Amazing from St. Clair. Definitely had more control. Honestly, overall, good defense. It's Saint, I believe Saint, I think defend, like defending is St. Clair like, is their biggest like favorite role, at least. So, But yes, that was honestly a great, a, a fantastic round. Right there. And Oppie having... A a bit of a slower game than usual last game, I think a 25 bomb or even more than that. Oh, this yeah. game after that ace, now nine kills back atop the leaderboard as where Oppie usually is on that jet. And now the push from Missouri. They have the full buy this round, so this is a round they can maybe try and turn things around on, but they are definitely mentally a bit shattered after that last round. But Sober Sushi won't let that get to them. Kurosu gonna be going down first, and it looks like they will finally look to push towards this A site. But Saints have a decent defensive setup for this. You can see Chris rotating a bit early on that arena. Maya sitting down here on the Sova as last time was there as well and found a couple couple picks. Let's see how this round's gonna go. Maya goes for the early. Early swing gets taken down, but Chris is here on the Reina. Can they find one? No, oh. Sober Sushi find that one. All the shots going Missouri's way today as they have a five on two situation. Have all the utility possible. Now in the post plan situation, Saints gonna look to retake, but in 2v5 scenario, it's gonna be way harder than the rest of these rounds have been. The opening swing comes through from AB Profen. Is there gonna be any shots found? You can see Missouri so scared to peek anything. There it is. The first pick comes through onto Breach. Oppie finds the second one onto the Omen. The Ash comes in from the jet as they look to find more picks. Oppie looking for the one tap. Isn't going to be able to find it, but the defuse gets halfway. Every profile oh. finds one. Oppie finds a second. Now it's a 1v1 scenario here. Can Oppie find the kill? Going to throw down that smoke. And I don't think this is a fake, but it's going to be forced out by the killjoy. I think Oppie should look for this kill. One bullet away from killing the killjoy. Going to look for the knife here. Oh. Is he able to find it, but not going to be in time to get the defuse. So the first round of the map will go over to Missouri, I think, unless they didn't get the spike down, but I think they did. I believe they did, I believe they did get the spike down. Yes, they did. Um, unfortunately, obviously, weren't able to get the, uh, the, the defuse on that, but wow, that knife kill right there. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually kind of, that was, that was funny. 
But looks like from both teams, they are going to be doing a full buy three with Vandals and two with Bulldogs. Although shields are kind of all over the place, but we are going to see how that works. With Missouri kind of going towards that C point again, St. Clair obviously stacked up on that A. Man, I feel like they should kind of take control over the like middle location. That would be best for them, honestly. But obviously, making their way towards C. St. Clair, it does look like they are going to go for the flank. Yeah, they love they their yes. flanks. And there's going to be a couple duelists on the flank. That's going to be scary. Oh. Anakin, though, finding the opening pick on top of Ibuprofen. And this side's been completely wide open. Killjoy does oh, get taken down. Also finds a couple. Does get taken down in the process. But the plant hasn't gone down yet, which gives Saints a lot of time to find the play here. And the Sova Ultimate won't find anything. But Chris, in the meantime, finds one. Sova finds attack with another. Chris finds a second. It's all up to Anakin on the jet here. Looking to get out of here. Has the spike, but going to have a lot of work to do in the 1v3. That is for sure. And I wonder how this is going to go. I wonder if Anakin is going to stay back, maybe let the round go, kind of save that money. Maybe go for the plant to gain some extra money, but we'll see how that goes. And he does get shut down by Maya, but oh well, that was definitely a round for St. Clair. We are looking at, oh, 7 and 1 already. Look at that. This round is going fairly quick, and I believe, yeah, it's pretty good. Good job by the Saints, and it's going to be a save round yet again for Mizu as they can't afford any weapons. They do have four ultimates ready, but I'll be very, very surprised if they use any of those this round, as the kind of one ult that can swing the favor round is that jet ultimate. They don't have that one online, and without the proper weaponry, using any of these other ultimates might be unwise, but the Saints on the other side are looking like they're in a very good spot. Oh, they yeah. have all the weapons they could ever want. A couple ultimates ready as well. The Cypher ultimate could be used at any point, so I think using that one anytime you could is a good idea. Chris takes out the Sova drone as the push is coming through Anakin, looking for some shots with the Sheriff, but Oppie somehow is already in the back line. Finds one, finds a second. Oppie looking to walk through here. Chris will throw out a flash for them as now they're going to be cleaning house here. Chris with that rain, not going to be the bait for Oppie as now 2v5. Chris wow. and Oppie annihilate Mizu and they take their eighth round of the half. That was crazy from St. Clair. I'm not going to lie. That was that was definitely... They played a lot of, like, aggressive, to be honest. I know, like, they, Missouri kind of went towards that A location, kind of switch it up a little bit, but St. Clair being St. Clair, they were already prepared prepare for that move and obviously going around and flanking them. Perfect for them, to be honest. And it does look like both teams are going to be doing the full buy. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, I believe next round is flip, is it not? No, not yet. Not yet. It's at 12 rounds each time the sides do flip as yet again the Saints playing the aggressive defense. Now it's going to be Oppie who can afford anything they could ever want. Ooh. It's going to be the judge picked up here and this Sova drone is going to be dangerous. <laughs> a couple kills go out to Mizua Saints doing a bit of a trolling now. But speaking of doing good work, Kurosu finds a couple, almost finds that third, will play their life though, is not going to be able to find that one. The crouch is perfect and now Eprofen going to get taken down as well. Quick round goes over to Mizu as Saints aggressiveness doesn't pay off that time. Although I feel like that round they were kind of just having fun, kind of get uh, now with them St. Clair has eight and over, sorry eight in Missouri with two rounds. Uh, obviously they're going towards that A point again. I wonder if they would it would be smarter to go back to C because although St. Clair is ready and already has been on A again no, kind of maybe switching that up would probably be best. But we'll see how this goes. They are kind of dedicated to going towards A now for these past three rounds. But we'll see what happens. St. Clair already go there. Dropping that smoke with the breach as well. Already getting in there. The Sova does uh, acknowledge that jet. Picks off one. Can he get to, oh, he does get taken down. It does go up to a three versus four. Missouri slowly getting in there, how aggressive, but Maya does shut down that other Sova. Perfect. Oh my god, this is just trades back and forth. A lot of trades. <laughs> Attacker Killjoy will be coming out. Saints should we be, be able to get out of dodge of that one. Oppie, though, will get detained. That's a very interesting play. I think was waiting for someone to go for the swing, knowing that if they did, Oppie would find the kill. But the oh. one for one trade, Oppie wasn't even seen on that screen. Gets taken down by you wherever. Now it's the only one Killjoy on one HP. Beautiful headshot from Abby Profin. Gives Saints their ninth round of the half as they look to 
finish this half in 10-2 fashion and look to finish this map out as soon as possible. That was definitely in a more uh, a slower round, that's for sure. It was there was kind of an aggressiveness at the end, or sorry, towards the middle, like at the middle and then towards the end. But that was definitely an interesting round. Obviously, both teams are going to be doing full buy again. And just like I said, it looks like Missouri is going to go towards that C location, which will probably be best because they did go to A for the last, like, what, three, four rounds? So we'll see how that goes. Saints are ready, though. Yes, they, they are. Both their duelists pushing up here. Sova won't even be looking the right way as Chris gets very, very close and personal. I think Chris is in a lot of trouble here on this rain and does a go down. Saints trying to play a bit too quickly here again might bite them in the back. But now, ultimate's ready for both sides. Omen ultimate, Jet ultimate, and Cypher ultimate for the side of the Saints. On the flip side, Sova, Jet ultimate, and Omen ultimate for the side of Mizzou. This is the last round you can use your ultimate, so I'd love to see either team use theirs here. As Sober Sushi is up here with that. Sheriff does oh, find wow. one, which I don't think should be possible, but the trade comes out. Now it's a 4v3, Sova ultimate onto the Jet. That's a nice little flash combo still. Well, should be able to stay alive. It's a lot of damage done to the Saints now, but Oppy, all they need is one HP. That's a kill coming through there. Now it's a 3v3 scenario. These Jet Knives will be able to find Kurosu on the flank. Oppy, though, finds one in the 1v3, finds oh, the second, and there's a Jet with Knives. One HP left on this Jet. The right click will do it, oh. but no, Oppy misses that one. Definitely one that you expect Oppy to hit still. It's a great, great half for the Saints. 9-3 to three as we switch sides. That was a turnaround, that's for sure. That was fantastic on Anakin. Although, put using his ult, taking out, I believe it was one or two agents, I believe, as well. And then finishing him off the last, that last, uh, oh, for, sorry, finishing off OP as well. So now, just like you had stated, it is the switch. St. Clair now on the attacking side. We'll see how this usually goes. It does look like they are going to be going towards the C site with Missouri kind of more towards, well, kind of spread out a little bit. We'll see how this goes, to be honest. Saints have been flawless on their pistol rounds so far in this series, and that's definitely a crucial part of why they are winning so with so much ease. They get a good start, and they just keep the ball rolling as they're going to be quick on these attacks. Nobody's on the C site. A couple players are going to be cover uh, rotating in for mid, but they're going to get all the info needed. There's nobody here looking to get the plant down and playing the post plant with the pistols. Definitely puts them in a great scenario. The Cypher has to be careful around this corner. There's Omen watching. Nice shot there. Finds one. We'll be able to get out of this knife. No, does the Sober Sushi up. does get the trade, but the plant is down. Oppie watching this with a ghost. Any player that walks into the cross here will be taken out. It is Mizu who need to go first here. My Chris and Oppie find the first couple picks. The trade comes out again, Ooh. and Oppie finds the second of the round. The trade come through, though. All that they need to do is survive now as Kurosu was on a giga flank without Omen. Saints take the fourth pistol round of the series as they put them th themselves three rounds away from taking the match. Honestly, I wasn't expecting that. I under like I honestly expected like obviously the C the C uh, point as well, but like Saint Clair pulling that off, and of course just like you said, they're flawless through pistol rounds, which is amazing. Honestly, good for them. But we'll see how that goes. Looks like they are going to be going towards that B, sorry C uh, point again. Missouri kind of spread out again. I wonder if maybe they'll switch over, maybe kind of spread like more focused on the middle. But it does look like Saint Clair is going to go to C. Scott free that's for sure. Yeah, it's looking a lot like last round and it is Mizu who did force a buy here They're gonna have everything they can afford in this round as the Saints gonna get the plant down for completely free and the 5v5 retake is gonna come out from Mizu They don't have quite the weaponry that the Saints do. Let's see how they play this post plant that Omen gets taken down first. Chris finds oh. one. Four dead for Mizzou. It's only Atakin left on this jet. He found able to find a one, able to find a second. 60 HP left on this jet. Gonna get taken down by that one-way smoke from Karosu. Saints up 11-3. Looking to finish this out swiftly. Crazy how like how a round like that can go by so quickly. Amazing to be honest. Yes.
I feel like the def yeah, I feel like Missouri is kind of more on the the slower side for defense. I feel like if they're wanting to win more of the defense rounds, they kind of have to be more aggressive. And it looks like they're sp spread out way too much. They're either covering the B side, the B side, or the A side. I feel like they either got to be a little bit closer together, or maybe focus more on that C side. Saint Clair, two rounds in a row, getting in there scot free without any interaction, planning up. Plus, sorry, planning that bomb site. Oh, sorry, planning that bomb. But it does look like Missouri is ready. Almost about three members on that side. Oh, sorry, on that uh, site. I wonder if St. Clair will maybe go around, maybe go towards B. And it does look like they are making their way towards a different site. That's for sure. Yeah, Chris getting taken out first is not good for the Saints Arena. Just jumping around that corner a bit too aggressively. And a nice shot from Sober Sushi gives Missouri the advantage. So for the first time on attack, we're going to see what Saints can get done attacking a different bomb site other than C. And it looks like the A site will be their choice. Looks like they are going to be using that Sova recon just to kind of get some info. Unfortunately, did uh, nothing uh, would did show up there. St. Clair kind of taking it slow, oh. maybe picking up that pack. Let's see. Maybe they'll make their way towards C again. Missouri kind of a little showing a little bit of confusion. St. Clair kind of keeping back in their spawn, seeing what they're doing. It does look like they are going to make their way towards that C, regaining the point. Oh, Control shot. does take that. Lives as well, Sober Sushi. Was looking to find the trade there, but great play by the Cypher there. Maybe Profen doing everything needed. That's another nice little smoke there. And now the swings are gonna come through. Mizuar just fully sprinting onto the site. They do spot out a couple oh. members and they find those picks. Huge shots from Missouri on another save round. As this is kind of where they're finding most of the rounds. I feel like Saints get a bit overconfident with those weapons and they fall like flies. And nice round there from Mizu, but Saints still looking very strong up 11 to 4. Yeah, that's for sure. I feel like St. Clair kind of just acted, had too much confidence during that round, that's for sure. Although it was a little bit slower, them kind of going M to A, getting knocked out, sorry, knocked back out, and then kind of staying back, back in their spawn. That was smart, and then taking complete control over C. Like, I, I wasn't, I honestly was not expecting that. I was expecting it for them to completely go to a different uh, bomb site. But it does look like St. Clair is going to go towards A, getting that Silver Dart ready and prepped to the start of the round to gain that much as information as possible and they have that breach as well but we'll see what happens them slowly making their way oh. Missouri Anakin picks off RP man that's a great start from them that's for sure as they are slowly making their way Corso picking off Anakin the trade that's for sure and the round is going to continue. Maybe Profen does get taken now, but Chris oh. finds the trade on U, whatever. Saints know exactly where the last three members are. The plant should be going down yet again. Saints getting in the position to get the plant down. Now 40 seconds for Mizzou to get back into this round. They have a bit of utility left. I don't think they have anything other than that. However, that breach hold would be useful, but they don't have that one just yet as the Killjoy is going to be going very, very aggressively. Does find the opening pick, oh. but nice double swing from wow. Maya. And Corose, who they put themselves on match point. They're going to have a fall by, and I think uh, Mizu won't be able to afford too much. So a great round from the Saints. They put themselves in a prime position to take down the, the series. I agree with you. It is that taking over that prime position, that's for sure. And it does look like it is 12 and 4. St. Clair had I, their aggression on that point was amazing, to be honest. Getting in there, making sure grabbing that or taking control of the point. Misery kind of lacking up on that. But. Well, we'll see what happens this round. It is, it might be the final round for St. Clair, a continuation of fifth for Missouri. We'll see how this happens. And they are starting off with the five, sorry, was, they are starting off with the A point. Slowly yeah. making their way. Does get picked off. Chris takes off the Sova, slowly making their way in. Slowly taking control as well. Chris does take off one, take Anakin with already taking the Opry. Chris getting another, a double as well. St. Clair easily taking control of this point. Can he get the third one? And does get, gets him with a classic, of course he does. And the ace almost coming out there from Chris, but Maya will find the final kill of the series. Your Saints take it 2-0 against Missouri University, and they go up to 4-0 on the season after an absolutely amazing performance against one of the better teams. That was honestly amazing to watch, to be honest. Yes, it's just like you said, St. Clair, 4-0, Missouri now 2-2, two two, I believe now. But honestly, 
those matches were fantastic. I feel like match one was more towards aggression, because especially with St. Clair getting that back-to-back -back ace, and obviously in match two, I believe it was Opry as well that got the ace as well. I believe yeah. so. That was honestly amazing as well. Um, were your, your thoughts on the second match? I mean, same like the first match, both games, Saints just completely running away with it on defense. And then by the time you get on the offense for the side of the Saints, they're already 9-3, ready to close out the map. That's definitely demoralizing if you're on the side of Mizzou. I think Saints are going to be unstoppable in this league and they're off to an amazing start at 4-0. I agree with that. They definitely showed some potential right there. Fantastic, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, a great, great job from them there. You know, I think... Uh, there's always something to work on after a match like that. I think the thrifty rounds that they lost, they definitely shouldn't be losing those rounds when they have the big weapon advantages. So I think if there's one thing to key in on, it's going to be definitely be that. That's for sure. I agree with you on that. And with all that being said, that's going to be it for us today. So we're going to do our outros. Thank you to everybody who made this possible. Everyone in the back, Owen, today was the director. And thank you to our observer, Ari. Today, thank you to our sponsors. We have Alienware, Tim Hortons, Subway, St. Clair SOC Illumination, and St. Clair St. Clair Sassi of the St. Clair Alumni Association. Thank you for joining me on the desk today. It was a great, great matchup. It was, it was. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll be seeing you tomorrow at 7 p.m. for some more action on the same stream. Have a good night, and thank you for watching.